Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today we're making a Man O' War. So this cocktail was named after a very well-known racehorse back in the 1920s. Uh, he won like 20 of his 21 horse races, so he did he did very well. Um, and this is this recipe has been altered slightly by Alan Katz. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, he's very well known in the industry. Well, in America, he is. Uh, he's also a distiller um, from the New York Distilling Company. Yeah, fun fact. Uh, so this particular recipe, he's he's refined himself. It's a little bit. Uh, it's a relatively easy one to remember, really. So it calls for uh, 60 ml, two ounces of bourbon whiskey. I'm using. 101, so it's a little bit of a higher proof. It's got a little bit of a higher rye content as well. So 60 ml, two ounces. And he's called for 30 ml, one ounce of orange curacao. I'm using Perefrand. I know <laughs> that's probably not how you pronounce it, but pronounce everything wrong. And then we've got sweet vermouth. Uh, I have to double check my list because I made a couple of cocktail videos beforehand. Uh, 15 ml, half an ounce. So there's a Torino style, but it is locally made. Adelaide Hills Distillery. I'll leave a link in the description below. And 15 ml of fresh lemon juice, half an ounce. That's it. Nice and simple, four ingredients. Good portion of ice and shake. Oh, that's that smells good. Got those aromatics coming off already. Lots of citrus in there. I'm going to garnish this with a big twist of lemon. And it calls for a brandy cherry. I'm using a maraschino cherry. So twist over the top. Actually, it did call for skewered. Follow the recipe, make sure it's legit. So brandy cherry and maraschino cherries are quite different. Oh, I hope to share a video with you guys on how to make your own brandy cherries at home. I actually did it a year ago and I've <laughs> half my fridge is taken up with brandy cherries that I haven't actually utilized. So just sitting there taking up heaps of space, which yeah, my wife absolutely loves. In this case, I'm gonna just uh, skewer the cherry, twist, rub some of the oils on the edge of the glass and Rest like so. How does that look, Kat? Yeah, looks pretty. Looks beautiful. They have a man of war. Man of war? Yeah. Oh, man of war. No, man of war. That's what I said. Okay. okay. Man of war. There's the man of war, not the man of war. Man of war. I'll drop the cherry in there because it's going to be awkward to drink otherwise. Cheers. Oh, that sweet vermouth is very welcome in that drink. Lots of citrus. Um, I, I'm i actually, I've used this recently quite a few times, the, the Wild Turkey 101, high rye, higher proof. I like it. It works really well in cocktails. Plenty of citrus, plenty of spice. Uh, and then you've got that complexity from the, the sweet vermouth that comes comes into play. This is delightful. Would you like to try, Kat? Anyway. Cat Cam, coming soon. So on Difford's Guide, there was a, a varying recipe which called for less, less bourbon, less curacao, less sweet vermouth, 
um, but it also had the addition of uh, a little bit of simple syrup, a little bit of sugar. So I think by reading the recipe, there was a slightly higher sugar content of that particular recipe. So I'm gonna add this tiny little bit of sugar just to compare. Keep in mind, I'm not, I'm not measuring this, but that was like five mil, very, very subtle variation. That addition of sugar was so minute that it didn't really make a lot of difference, but I feel that it maybe harmonize the ingredients a little bit more. It, ever so subtle, that change. It's not a bad drink. I, I enjoy it. Um, would I rush to try it again? Probably not. Just being honest, guys. If you've tried this, if you do try it, let me know in the comments below what you think. Otherwise, I'll see you soon in another cocktail video. Cheers. Thank you.